this next video I made when I very, very, very first started, before I even hit the road. I've shared I owned for two weeks basically I found an RV and it uh, the generator wasn't working and the guy promised me he would get it working and after a few weeks it wasn't happening and so we happily traded money for title and we put that to bed but at that time I was looking for what does a first-time RVer need for your RV and I did what probably most of you guys are doing, which is went out and I was watching all these YouTube videos, you know, 10 must haves for first time RVers, uh, my favorite things. And I was just getting more and more confused and everybody was all over the map. And then it occurred to me, what am I thinking? I have a RV catalog and it has every possible thing you could ever need for an RV in one place. So I sat down, I went through it page by page, I created an entire spreadsheet, because that's just how I roll, and then I went through it and was able to identify what were all the things that I needed for my particular RV. So that's how I would recommend solving that problem. Anyway, I thought it'd be really fun to open all of these packages that have been sitting here for a few months. Um, and between you and me, I don't even remember what's in most of them. So we're gonna have a lot of fun opening these and hopefully I'm gonna remember what everything is and what it's for and I will share it with you. But basically, this is my version of everything you need to get started in your first RV. Okay, so let's see what we got. And hopefully I won't make too big of a mess. Okay. So, the first thing I have here, oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> you find a place to put on boxes. Okay, so the first thing I have here is a hose. Now, you're gonna need a couple of hoses. And um, basically, you're gonna need a, a drinking water hose. It's a, it's a hose that's specially made for potable water. And then you're gonna need a hose to deal with your um, sewer thing. I can't think of what it's called, but anyway, the sewer hose. And you definitely do not want to be mixing those hoses. And germaphobe of America over here, I totally don't want to. So my great idea was I found a black hose. So it will be very clearly delineated that this is the hose that I use when I am cleaning out my sewer hose. And more on that later when we come across that. Actually, I have my sewer thing, so maybe I'll bring that, I'll do that next. Okay, so in no particular order, um, this is my sewer thing, and I thought, oh, I do, I do, I got scissors. I didn't want to, like, I know when you go to a real baby shower, and, like, and they're, like, taking forever to open the presents, and you're like, oh, my God, I just open mine so I can leave. So I wanted to spare you that. And, sorry. Please talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Okay. So, I chose, there's a lot of different lengths. And to tell you the truth, I cannot remember why, but 15 feet was recommended as a good length. And they definitely have them longer. Um, and like I said, it's been a few months, so I can't remember why, but trust me, you should be okay with the 15 footer versus there's a 10 footer definitely on the short side and there is a 25 footer and apparently 
my little circle of RV people said, you don't need the 25 footer. Excuse me, yeah, the 25 footer, or the 20 footer, or the 25 footer. I'm rambling, okay. Ugh! All right, so here is my sewer hose. And so you don't have to go this route, but I want to see what the heck is going on. Um, mostly you want to know when you're done dumping that everything's out. And the best way to do that is to have a clear, this has a name and I don't know what it is, but whatever this thing is, joint, that's not the official word, but I'll look it up and put it on the video. But a clear one will tell you when you've run clear, when, I mean, when everything is out of the tank. And, you know, I'll, I'll be doing more videos, but the concept basically is that when you are ready to do a dump of your tanks, that first you dump your yucky black water. That's where all the yucky stuff, the toilet stuff goes. Then you do your gray tank, which is all the water that's from your sink and your shower, and that washes through. And then the last step is to flush it actually with hose water. Now, Scout is 22 years old, and so back in his day, they weren't making the kind where you could then put the hose on and flush it out, but that doesn't matter because I wanted to be able to do that. So in here somewhere is an accessory that is going to allow me to do that. And I will show you that. So this is uh, the sewer kit. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is in my original packaging, I did not buy the little side snakey thing that lifts this off the ground. And um, I've already been to an RV park that said you must have it. So. That was something else I purchased. So um, again, I'll put the little name of what it is uh, on the video, but it, it basically helps elevate and uh, keeps it off the ground, keeps the hose off the ground and just helps it empty better. Okay. Wow, we spent a long time on the sewer. All right, let's go here. Let's see what we got here. All right. They gave me a little treat. Bonus. All right. So. This is a um, hose regulator, a water regulator. Um, I actually got a couple of these because they're plastic and they're cheap and I don't know how long they'll last. And that way I've got an extra one because they, you know, if it busts. But basically this is used for when you are um, at a hookup and apparently you cannot always trust what the water pressure is coming out of the hose. And um, you certainly don't want to damage your RV. I know I don't. So cheap little thing, you put this on. Again, I'll do videos actually using this stuff, which will probably make way more sense. Um, but you definitely want to have this. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and it will save you problems. Okay, so this is just a little extra thing I added on. It's a broom holder. And uh, my RV has got hardwood flooring through most of it. And I have two dogs that I'm traveling with that shed like nobody's business. And so I'm gonna be doing a lot of sweeping. And as you know, everything's gonna go flying around in there. So for a couple of bucks, I bought a, a little thing to hold my uh, broom in place. I'm sure my broom is gonna be one of the biggest necessities I'm gonna have in there. Okay, so this is awesome. This is a headlamp. And I kind of want to open it and put it on for you. <laughs> what it is, is a flashlight that's a headlamp. And again, this is related to my dogs. Although, um, what people, a lot of people like this is if you um, go into an RV park or, you know, a campsite where you need to hook up uh, after dark, it is so nice to be able to have the light on your forehead instead of a big L, but light on your forehead. And then you got your hands free for hooking your power up and your hose up and all that other good stuff. But I'm gonna use mine so I can walk my dogs and have two hands for two leashes. And that's that. All right. Water filter. Okay, this is going to become a running joke. So in case I haven't already said it 50,000 times, I am a total germaphobe. 
So the concept of drinking and using the water in my RV is completely disgusting to me. And I just don't know how um, feasible it's gonna be to run around with tons of bottled water. So this is a pretty common thing that people get a water filter. This will go on the outside of the RV. It's an intermediary piece when you're hooking up your hose. So you're regulating the pressure and then you're also filtering the water as it's coming into the RV. Now, this isn't for when you're boondocking, this is for when you're actually at a hookup. And I have a few more uh, auxiliary pieces for my water filtration system. But there's my little lovely water filter. All right, what else have I got in here? Ah, uh, quarter pack potty things. You throw these down your toilet I don't know when you throw them down your toilet. We're gonna learn that together, but I know you need to have them. They're like enzymes. I got lavender, because I like the smell of lavender, because I'm a girl. Um, but they come in all different scents and unscented and just enzyme ones, but these are the ones I chose. And you pop them in. I don't know if you're constantly popping them in or only when it's in storage, but bear with me, because you know I kind of don't exactly know what I'm doing. But I am very good at researching, so I guarantee you that I did a great job at figuring out what you need to start with, even if I'm not exactly sure how and when you use it. Okay, then, I don't think I'm gonna like this, but I wanted to give it a try. I got some toilet paper that is specifically for RVs. And as was pointed out to me, something to think about. Um, there is a lot of toilet papers on the market out there that say they're good for septic tanks. And your RV black tank is not a septic tank. It is a holding tank. So you're not going for things that are septic rated because those have like a breaking composting component to them apparently. Whereas the RV, it's all sitting there in a tank. You want it to dissolve and you want it to wash away. So I like my soft toilet paper. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. And actually, I've been doing some research on some alternatives, and I'll share that in another video, but there are definitely some alternatives where you just bypass the whole toilet paper part completely. <laughs> and I will tell you more about that some other time. But for the meantime, I'm going to try that. Now, I have no idea what we got in here. So, let's see what this is. I'm so nervous that I think it'll open something up and I'm not going to have any recall on what it actually is. Oh, this is major important and this was major expensive as far as I was concerned. This is like 70 or 80 bucks. Ay, ay, ay. Um, but it's a surge card. And I have been forewarned that, you know, this is definitely one of the things you do not want to be in an RV park and hook up and have some issue with their power because that the power surge will absolutely damage you know the systems in your rv and nobody wants that so this is one of those you gotta have it it kind of hurts the pocketbook but it would hurt the pocketbook way more if you suffer the consequences now some of the the situations that i was told seemed a little extreme but it just seemed like a good idea to get one. An example was um, if you were hooked up somewhere and there was a thunderstorm and lightning hit the power, it would make it surge and it could screw up your whole system. I don't know. I really hope I'm not in my RV somewhere where it is storming that bad, but anyway. Okay, I have to show you this because this is definitely a novice faux pas. So I bought these. They are called chalks and I know that people have them and I thought <laughs> I thought these were to level your RV <laughs> because it's really important to level your RV oh let's talk about that too here I'll put this here so don't forget um mainly for your refrigerator so your propane refrigerator doesn't crap out on you and um so I thought this is what you needed. I've come to find out 
These have to do with your RV rolling away, have nothing to do with leveling your RV. And then that's even funnier to me because how the hell do these two pieces of plastic keep your like million pound RV from rolling away? But I've been assured that's what they're for. So again, these are really inexpensive. <laughs> And I'm hard pressed to understand that if they really work, but you want those. Now, what do you want to level your RV? You want these things and they're called levelers and you don't have to get them all fancy schmancy like I did, but I'm an organizer and I have some organizing videos. So you can check those out. Um, so I like things neat and tidy and in their little place and put away. So the fact that this particular one comes with its own little bag and you put them all away, even though they're gonna get all dirty, I don't care. And they're stackables. And again, we're gonna figure out how you use these, but this is what you use to level your RV. So the main point is it's very important to level your RV and therefore it's very important to have something to do that with. And I mean, people use wood and you certainly don't have to like go this route you know, of course it's gonna cost you more than a piece of wood and whatever, but like I said, I like things that are in their own little containers and that they're for whatever their purpose is, so I like the levelers. Okay, speaking of levelers, they've got all kinds of fancy schmancy stuff and when I rented uh, the first RV, I had a little leveler like this and it basically has two and it did the trick it was perfect i stuck it on the stove you know and on the counter in there and it was very easy and as soon as this is in the center and this is in the center i know i'm spot on it costs like nothing and you can go fancy schmancy on these things but i'm telling you this little guy he did the trick okay let's see what's in here Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember I told you about water and germophobia? Okay, so I have a water filter for the outside where the water's coming in. Common, you're gonna see lots and lots of other RVers. Almost probably everybody's gonna have that. All right, so here's stage two. I got a Brita to put on the faucet in the kitchen sink. So that's level two filtration. You don't need to get this. I'm just weird and I felt I needed that to deal with the water. Okay, now this kind of goes with any car, but doesn't sound like it seemed like a bad idea to have uh, jumper cables. And these, you know, they're heavy duty. I'll tell you what I know about these ones is that I looked and you kind of need a, a more serious um, type. <laughs> Of, of jumper cables versus I have jumper cables in my car and although they probably work in a pinch I wanted to get the proper ones for an RV that would handle you know a truck so jumper cables just a safety feature to have them if I need them or help someone else out if they need them um, and like I said I got the heavy duty kind um, okay let's see what else I got Oh! I'm putting this video up at a time when I don't have any current affiliate ships, but there's lots and lots of products in this video. So be sure to check the description. And at some point, I will be able to put links on there to point you. Um, in the direction and of course the idea would be any products that you buy just by going in on the link really helps support me and this channel so I can dedicate more and more time to making more videos. Thanks.